First at four, a special dedication was held today to unveil Franklin County's new state-of-the-art correction center. NBC4's newest reporter, Sierra Johnson, joining us now with a look inside. Sierra, welcome. Thank you. Well, it was named after James Carnes, who was the county's longest serving sheriff. Now, the new facility costs about six, $360 million to build and has been in the works for several years. This will replace the downtown jail and will focus on a strategic inmate management and direct supervision. Deputies and those in the correction center will share the space in pods with built in medical rooms, professional visitation, recreation and space for programs. We know that these are our neighbors and most of them that come here have not been convicted of a crime. And so it is our responsibility to make sure that they have the resources that they need, that they can be productive citizens when they return back to our community and that our community is safer for it. Well, it's with pride and an honor. And um, th this would, he, he's smiling down on us today. It's quite a legacy to leave for this, for Franklin County and the nation, since it's going to be one of the top jails in the nation. Now the facility is scheduled to open in the fall with a capacity of 864 beds. The second phase will open in 2023 and will include an additional 426 beds. Mm.